time, video time, video time. So, it's 12.25. So, technically, it is December 15th. So, I'm here. And I just got inspired by Dee Dee and Leslie over at Words of a Reader. Because they talked about classics. And their videos were, well, Dee Dee's was two weeks ago. And <laughs> Leslie's was like three, four days ago. I'm catching up on YouTube, guys. I'm getting there. And they're talking about classics and what they haven't read. And I'm like, I looked at my shelves. And half of my shelf, no, like 70% of my shelf are books that I haven't read. So it's not even talking about that. But I noticed that I have I have a lot of classics. So I put them out of my bed. Here they are. And there's a lot more than I thought there was. So I thought I would talk about them. And then other ones that might pop into my mind as I have these. So first is The Wizard of Oz. I bought this bound up because it was only $8 in Barnes & Noble. It's a trap. And it's the first five novels. I didn't even know there was five novels. I don't know anything about Wizard of Oz. I just know the movie and the, the shoes and that's it. And so, yeah, apparently there's the Wonder Wizard of Oz, The Marvelous Land of Oz, Ozma of Oz, Dorothy and the Wizard in Oz, The Road to Oz. And then a bunch, there's a bunch more apparently, which I didn't even know was a thing. The more you know. Another bound up thing I have is... The classic works of Scott Fitzgerald. Two novels and 19 short stories. And the reason that I got it was like, yay, short stories, but for the two novels, because it's This Side of Paradise and The Beautiful and Damned. I've always wanted to read those, and I never have. And I love The Great Gatsby, and I got to reread it again for my lit class um, last semester, my last semester, which is something I talked about earlier. And the movie was great, so I just need to see, you know, more Fitzgerald so I can, like, love his life more. Something I think I have read, but I want to reread because I don't remember anything about it, is A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Le... I can't say her name. But this cover is so pretty. I think it's a 75th year anniversary cover. I don't know. But I like it. And I don't even remember where I got this. Like, I had another copy. It was like a broken one. The cover wasn't even a thing. And I got this. So I'm like, yes, must read. Let's see. I got this. The Count of Monte Cristo. Leslie has a huge freaking book of this and I'm like this feels so tiny compared to hers and the reason I want to read this is because I think I read this it's either this or one of these uh, Charles Dickens books and it was one that like the guy's in jail and something goes down I don't remember like I don't know what book it was I'm gonna like have to read this and then read like all the Charles Dickens except for Great Expectations because I read that to see what book it was because I don't remember which one it is and that's a problem but I want to read this it's supposed to be really good this guy is kind of creepy so I might get another copy of this and give this one away but um yes must know more I've never read Lord of the Flies guys and I have this I've had this I don't know where I got this either I don't know where I got have these things Lord of the Flies never read it I said I was going to this year in uh, especially like for the band books week thing because it's one of those and I never did nope so We'll get to that. 2014. This is a mission, guys. We're gonna do it. Since it came out yesterday, two days ago, The Hobbit. I, haven't, I read like the first two, three pages after seeing the first movie because I was like, yes. And nope, haven't read it. I got it for super cheap with this one, The Fellowship of the Ring. And I have, I, have, I need to buy the other two books. I just want to get them in like these older copies. I like, they like how cool, like yellow they are and how old. I got them because like super cool shop in Massachusetts, and I'm like, I want to go and see if they have the other ones but yeah guys i've never read <laughs> the hunchback of notre dame by victor hugo and i got this in the strand bookstore i don't know doesn't even say the price but i got this in strand once upon a time i just saw it and i was like i didn't like i should re i should read this because that book movie is crazy like watching that movie now the disney movie guys is just watch it it's like it's creepy the best of Sherlock Holmes. I need to read this. I've never read any of his stories, which is a problem, and I love the shows, and I'm kind of obsessed with the character, but I don't really know anything else but, like, what's shown to be in movie and TV versions, so I need to get behind the writing and see what Arthur Conan Doyle is all about. And now, to Virginia Woolf. I have to the lighthouse, which is something Dee Dee mentioned, and don't know anything about it. I just got it, and... I liked it because it's lighthouse beach. I love the beach and thought I would give it a try. I also have Miss Dalloway by Virginia Woolf. Got it at the Strand again back in the day. And it's set the novel that inspired The Hours. I believe The Hours is a movie that has Nicole Kidman in it. I've never seen it because I wanted to read the book first. And I love Nicole Kidman, so it's like something that's daunting me because I'm like, oh my god, I want to see the movie so bad. But I won't because I want to read the book first. And I need to because I love Nicole Kidman. I need to see how she does in it. And last. 
podcast. Lee, I have some Jane Austen. I know, right? I love Pride and Prejudice, as y'all know. I've never read Persuasion by her, and I need to, because I've seen all the movies, every version of every movie there is, any mini series that there are. I've seen them all. I love Jane Austen, and I love the stories, but I haven't read her, which is weird. Like, I only read Pride and Prejudice, and then love it, obsessed. So I need to read Persuasion. I need to read Emma. I read the first three pages of this, and, like, I, so it made me understand, like, the Emma approved what, of series so much. Like, I get it. I get it. I need to read this. That's my goal, to read this by before the web series finishes, which I'm sure I have my time. <laughs> but I like, like, watching without knowing what's going on. It's a very interesting thing. I got this at, like, TJ Maxx once upon a time for, like, $4, and I didn't even know it was one of these, like, penguin-bound editions, and it's so pretty. It's that sensibility. I haven't read this either, and I just love this edition. I just hug it. It's so pretty. But, um, yeah, I want to read this too. And I haven't read Mansfield Park. I haven't read any of the other Austin's. It's a Pride of Prejudice. It's a problem. Okay. Lastly, I have Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Noticia de un secuestro. Um, notice of a... What's secuestro? Kidnapping. That's what that is in English. Um, I haven't read this. I haven't read any of Garcia except for, like, his little poems and sonnets of what are they called they have a name yeah i haven't read like 100 years of solitude any of that and i want to read it in spanish because i can <laughs> so i need to get to that i've always i've owned this i don't know how i got this either and i want to just get to it and then read a bunch of his works because he's awesome is what i've heard and then last but not least i have isabel allende la isla bajo el mar this is not a classic i'm just including this because i've read one of her classics that was daughter of fortune Love that book. It was so good. I need to get it again because I don't know what happened to my copy that I have. But it, that book is awesome. So I want to read more of her because she's like very like raised up in like the Spanish literature world. I got this when I was in Chile last year. I'm just like the only book I bought while I was over there because I just thought the cover was super pretty. It's called La Isla Bajo el Mar, The Island Under the Sea. So it just sounds awesome and I just want to read more Spanish. So longer classics, more Spanish books next year. Goals. I'm setting goals, guys. It's gonna happen. All right. I'm glad you stuck around and got to see all the mess that I continue to accumulate. Just so many books unread. I don't know, man. I will get to them. There. That's the goal. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.